Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Vera Cloud Architect. Are you guys boring with my AWS videos? So for a change, today I am going to uh, deploy a PHP application on Ubuntu Linux. So what are the steps I am going to follow to uh, deploy an application in uh, AWS Ubuntu Server? So create a Ubuntu Server on AWS, install Apache Web Server, because uh, for a PHP applications, Apache is the very best uh, web server. And then we need to install PHP and also we need to install MySQL. And then we can upload the developed PHP application into the server. That's all. We can host the application. Without wasting any time, let me get into the demo. So this is my AWS account. Let me go to EC2 service. and then instances you can launch an instance I'll give a name as web server and I'm going to choose open to image and I'm going to choose the latest version which is 22.04 LTS and then choose the instance type T2 micro is more than enough for my uh, PHP application and if you have any key pair already you can choose it or you can create a new key pair so already I have a key pair so I'm choosing that and then if you have a VPC settings already we can choose uh, our application in the particular VPC so I'm going to choose that one too and I'm going to use a public subnet because this web server can access publicly and then it has its own uh, public IP and private IP as well so I am enabling auto assign public IP so that I will get a public IP and if you have an existing security group you can choose that or else we can create a security group for that so let me give one this a PHP security group I'm going to give the same thing for the description okay so to connect with this instance I need a SSH so I'm giving a SSH with the anywhere option and I'm, I also need a HTTP port so because like since I'm going to use this as a web server I need to uh, access uh, this server from browser so I need to add HTTP port as well choose the HTTP from the drop down here is HTTP and from where I'm going to access we can give anywhere because this one anyone can access this website so I'm going to choose that and finally the hot disk so 8 GB hot disk is more than enough for me so that's all launch instance so my EC2 instance is being created let me go back view all instances so it takes little time since it is pending so meanwhile what I'm going to show I'm going to show the details of the instances this is my public IP of the instance and then this is my private IP of the instance just let me show this IP how is there anything is inside let me show control V so I am testing the public IP in a browser since in this my, my server does not have anything installed inside currently it's not throwing anything okay let me go back to EC2 console so these are all my VPC subnet details so let me quickly connect my server since it is running now connect and I'm going to connect through putty so I'm just copying the public IP let me go into the putty is the IP and I'm going to up upload my key 
so this is my key file which is Israel and then let me open accept it so since uh, this is a Ubuntu machine default username is Ubuntu yes I have logged into the server so first thing I'm gonna do because today I'm going to install many things so I'm going to change this one as a super user sudo su I have logged in as a super user then let me clear the window first so uh, in AWS this image might have taken a few months ago there would be a lot of uh, patch update might have happened so I have to update the server first so to update the server in open to apt update So my uh, Ubuntu server is being update, updating. So the recent updates will be uh, like installed and all the packages has been like you know uh, installed into my server. So and then the next step is I am going to install Apache. So the Apache web server to install that one apt install Apache 2. Why? So Apache is being installed. Yes, it is installed now. I have to. I'm going to start the service. Service. Apache to start to start the Apache server. So it is started. Let me check the status. Service Apache to status. So Apache is active and running. So let me go back to my browser and quickly I will refresh this page. So yeah, my Ubuntu page is updated. Okay, so here they have given some configuration details. If you go this particular path, there would be index.html. Instead of this, we can have our own index.html file or we can uh, have a PHP and we can have the index.php file so I am going to uh, locate this particular path let me go back to my putty window clear it so let me go to that particular folder cd slash vao ww html so this is the index file available so what I am going to do is now I am going to remove this index file or index.html as it's removed so let me uh, like currently I don't have any uh, uh, PHP file so first I'm going to install the PHP apt install PHP yes so PHP 8.1 is being installed so PHP is up and running so then next one is I need a SQL MySQL so for that apt install MySQL hyphen server so I am installing MySQL server yes yes I have installed MySQL as well now I need a development file so I have kept my uh, development file in my uh, desktop so if you can find the rest of girls this is my uh, zip file which has been like you know the PHP application developed and I have zipped as a uh, zip file so I have to upload that file into the server for that I'm going to use FileZilla FileZilla to upload a file from local to server So for that go to in FileZilla file site manager here I have to give the public IP of my instance let me go back to my instance details copy the public IP and I'm pasting here and then port is SSH is or default port is 22 and then I have to select the key file which I have selected already and then connect 
So the left hand side, whatever you are seeing is my local PC, which means my desktop. And then right hand side is my remote server, which is Ubuntu server. So the default path is slash home Ubuntu. I'm going to copy the file in this folder. So let me quickly go to my desktop. In desktop, I have the developed file, which is restogirls.zip. I'm just moving into my server. It's being uploaded. It will take like a little time. So the file has been successfully transferred. Let me go back to my server again. In putty, go to the default folder, which is home Ubuntu. I can see the file here. Now let me unzip this file. So to unzip this, before unzipping, let me move this file to the root folder, the Apache root folder. Okay, so mv rest, resto file and then slash, it has to go to var www html. Let me move the folder as well, html okay so now this file is moved from home ubuntu to slash war ww html okay now i'm going to unzip this file so obviously unzip is not available in ubuntu by default so i have to install unzip so unzip is installed let me unzip the file unzip rest. so my file is now unzipped okay so if you go to that folder i can see the configuration details and all okay let me ls so here you can find all the development files so basically it has the admin folder api folder backend CSS and PHP files. So this is my DB. So this is my DB backup by uh, like you know uh, after uh, in uh, like PHP has sorry MySQL has been installed. So I have to upload this SQL file as a database. Okay. Before doing that, let me go and configure the front end first. So for that, the configuration file is there in slash etc. Apache 2 sites available so here you can find there are two files so one is a uh, HTTP and this is for a HTTPS so currently I'm going to use only the HTTP port so let me open that file and the default uh, uh, document root is slash war www.html but currently I have one more folder inside so I'm going to add that one too Sorry, let me go and copy that. So let me go back and copy this name because I may misspelled. Okay. Okay, this is my file folder name. I'm saving the file. Okay, this one is done now. Then I have to log in into my MySQL. MySQL hyphen h local host hyphen p sorry hyphen u root. Okay, I have logged into the MySQL and then very first time we have to reset the MySQL password for that there is a alter command like alter user command to update I have I have the uh, command already let me copy this and paste it so this command will update the root user password 
okay so i have updated that exit now let me uh, log in as a user okay so i have to insert the password this is my password so i have logged in so let me show the databases show database so i have only the default uh, databases i'm going to create a database so create database and the name name i'm going to give us a miss db i think so let me get that file name so this is the miss db i'm going to give the same name okay miss db semicolon enter so i have created a database let me show again show database so my database has been created now i have to import uh, the dot sql file into my database let me go back again exit this with me and then cd slash vo ww html in that i have the folder called okay so here is my file so let me type the command to import s database mysql iphone h local host iphone u as a root user iphone p my database name is mystdb okay and i am going to import this mystdb.sql so this is the command mysql iphone h local host iphone u username iphone p database and then i am going to insert this file into this database enter i am going to give the password so let me type the password so now it is imported let me go back to the database quickly to show these tables are imported okay show databases okay use miss db is the db and then show tables so here i can see all my tables so all my tables has been imported now i am good to restart the application let me go back to my previous window and then service apache to restart service is being restarted let me go back to my browser in browser we can refresh this page to get the application who my application has been deployed so this is how we can deploy a php application in ubuntu server so that's everything for today thank you guys thanks for watching cloud synapse technologies videos